be rough. And Ceballos finally lands a jab over the top. Then goes back to punching Cotto's gloves. As Cotto comes off the ropes with a right hand over the top and a left hook to the body. Now Ceballos gets him into a... And I find myself, uh, George, as you were saying that, wondering why he's moving so much since inside he does such a good job. Doesn't have any movement as far as rolling and countering and all of that in his rep. This weight class, it's designed to maximize power punching. Manuel Stewart could take those guys and teach them how to get leverage. Someone they think is a great prospect and who will someday be the kind of fighter that... Uh, the left cross over. And he hits those shots good from the softball position. Gives him a chance to put a little more power behind his left hand as he's able to cross his body over behind it. Who would have thought? Not only has he turned softball, but I mean, he's effective in that direction. His whole career without having some trouble with that hand. So, well, it's, for instance, it's, it's, it's interesting when he finally goes on the attack, it was from a left-handed uh, position. Seemed to take Ceballos by surprise. Now, this is the kind of stuff we expected from Cotto. Well, these guys from Panama, those got boxers have a lot of pride. You're not just going to beat them because... Blood coming from the right eye of Ceballos they now. They say you're good. Yep. After he switched to that southpaw stance. Oh, there's a left hook to the body, George. Oh, he's doing it to the body and to the head now. Constant accumulation of punishment. Look at Patience. that left hook. Yeah. Looking very good here. Probably going to finish Ceballos... He's going to finish him right now because Ceballos' his corner men just walked up the steps and said, we've seen enough. Obviously, Good. they were as impressed as we were with yeah. the last minute of 